Hey guys, I'm Dr. Tarnovian, and today we are doing a Funko Pop Star Wars Finn review. Uh, yeah, there's no more intro, so, cause, uh, that's kinda, uh, I don't know, it seems a little repetitive. So, uh, I think that's gonna be my new reviews, um, intro to my reviews. But anyways, uh, we got Finn here. Now, <clears throat> the only reason why I even got this one is because, oh, well, the other one seems a little too plain, because this is the Barnes & Noble exclusive, uh, with the lightsaber. Now, um, their exclusives haven't been really been too great lately. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. One other exclusive besides this is the go <coughs> oh, come on. The uh, glow in the dark exclusive Hulk, which I hear is not too great. I don't really care. I already have Hulk, so it's from uh, Age of Ultron, I believe. So. Uh, anyways, um, you can see the, uh, sticker there. This is actually my first Barnes & Noble's exclusive. So, uh, there you can see Finn with the lightsaber. I absolutely love Star Wars The Force Awakens, but Finn's okay. I mean, he's an okay character, but, uh, other pops you can get is Han Solo. Old Han Solo. Princess Leia. Admiral Apak. Ak Bar, I, I don't even know, uh, Nguyen Noomb, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce their name, so just, if you know how to say it, just, you know, say it and you read it, I don't know, but those are the pops you can get, I think this one looks really cool, and that one, uh, these two, I know that's an exclusive of him with the helmet on him, coming out soon, cause I know he's a, uh, a pilot for the X-Wing, but, you know, whatever, whatever. Anyways, I'm going to get this pop opened up, and when we come back, we're going to be taking a better look at Finn. Barnes & Noble's exclusive. Don't go anywhere, guys. More coming your way. Stay tuned. Alright, um, so in the box, something on his head. Uh, in the box, uh, you get an ad, which, um... Okay, you see, uh, this is for the Star Wars Smuggler Bounty, because I don't think they did too good in their very first box. Now, I did subscribe to them, and I'm getting a little something extra, hint, hint. Um, but, yeah, you can see, you uh, know, Kylo Ren t-shirt, uh, TIE Fighter, and again, I'm not sure what that is. Is that, I don't even know. Uh, you get a pin, you get a pin, oh, that, that must be the patch, because I'm subscribed to the, um, Marvel one, and then you get a chromed out, uh, Captain Phasma, and then on the other side of the box, his 100% exclusive, e every box, e every item, only $25, you receive 100% exclusive Star Wars collectibles created by Funko, each box, c each box contains pops, Pop vinyls, apparel, and stuff, and guaranteed. You know, it's pretty. It's a pretty uh, good deal. I, I actually thought I would cost more, but that's probably because you're signing up, and it's um probably because it's you know uh, shipping and stuff. Uh, it says you'll get at least fifty dollar in value, so I'll leave that actually back here. Uh, so. Uh, if you want to go, go to smuggler bounty, smugglersbounty.com. But anyways, uh, Finn is okay. Uh, the paint job, I mean, the paint job's not too bad, actually. It's just in his sh uh, foot, or shoes, or feet, whatever. Uh, his hair has a really nice sculpt to it. You can see his jacket that he, uh, I'm not even going to spoil it, but you can see his jacket here. Nicely detailed. You can see the, uh, uh, I'm not sure really what that is, but you can tell it's a leather jacket, actually, but his bobblehead's not too bad. Um, I mean, you can see it a little bit in some angles, but I don't think people are going to be looking at it in a, in a cer that certain way. On the back, you can see uh, all the wrinkles of the leather and the scraps and everything. Pretty cool. Now his lightsaber is a trans 
translucent blue, which I really like. Although, it would have been more badass if it was green, honestly, but, you know, whatever. It's, it's, it's still, it was a, still a pretty badass scene. Although, I'm not even going to spoil it. <laughs> it's hard not to spoil it, even though, you know, I haven't seen it yet. I mean, I did see it, in case uh, you haven't seen it yet, but... The base has the Star Wars on it. You can take this off. Boom. Nice base. I mean, he stands roughly there, 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 there. I can't even say it right anymore. But I know there was another exclusive fin, which was the, um, uh, GameStop exclusive where he has the same head, but uh, he's uh, dressed up as the Stormtrooper, which I think it's a really neat one. I want to pick it up, but I can't find it. Also, I'm looking in the box. You also get the, uh, I'm not sure if that's the Rebel card or the, uh, the, uh, fucking New Order. Uh, your thoughts down below. Anyways, uh, other than, you know, his paint job not being too good, you know, otherwise, he's still a pretty good pop. I think he's better than the original piece, uh, considering the original only had a, the original pop only had a, um, a, a, his blaster thing, which I honestly rather have him use the lightsaber, because the, I hate the way the gun looks. Like, you can look up the movie poster, and it doesn't look too good, honestly. It looks kind of dumb. Um, so, I'd rather him with a lightsaber. Maybe if I can find him with the uh, normal uh, blaster, the normal pop, for, like, it's on a sale, like, half price or something, then I'll probably get it. But otherwise, I'm not really looking into it. But, uh, he, otherwise, if you do see this pop... I definitely recommend it, because if you like the movie, yeah, uh, you just pick it up. Although, I like Ray, Ray but much better than Finn, because Finn's just, I mean, I don't know. Finn is not really uh, a fun character for me. I think they could have done more with him, but I like how he was a stormtrooper, and then if you see the trailer, he doesn't become a stormtrooper anymore, so... Um, I do like the character, but I think they could have done a little bit more. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, uh, slap that like button. I was going to say punch that like button in the face like a boss, but I'm not going to accept the guy, so I'm good. Anyways, his lightsaber's a little warped, but it's fine. It's fine. I might keep him in the box, not too sure. But, um... If you want to see more, click subscribe, more Funko Pop reviews. I'm working on I something I did on Saturday, because today is Martin Luther King Day. I might do a couple more reviews, not too sure. Um, I have a couple more Star Wars Pops, but I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be reviewing it. Uh, I Okay, look, if I do voice crack, I do it on purpose again, so, yeah. Anyways, uh... See you in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.